Hello and welcome to this one dumbbell 20 minute arm killer. If you're looking to build muscle in your biceps and triceps and you only have access to one dumbbell, then this is the workout for you. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, join me in a very quick warm up starting on the ground in a bit of wrist preparation. So bring your hands on the floor and first we'll start to just rock forwards and backwards, spread your fingers, start to load up the hands, stretching the wrist, the forearms, maybe start doing some circles. Now bring your fingers to face you, stretching your forearms and biceps. Do the same thing, stretching through the forearms, the hands, the wrists. You can stay here a little bit longer if you need to. Otherwise, come up now to an arm circle. So big circles in your shoulders, opening up the chest, shoulders back. It's important that we get some blood flow in our joints and we mobilize these areas before we start lifting the weights because this is gonna be fast and intense. And let's just take it for 30 more seconds into a torso rotation. So twisting from side to side, opening up the chest and shoulders. Also getting the heart rate up just a little bit to make sure that the blood is pumping through our body, even though we're focusing just on biceps and triceps. It's important to make sure the whole of our body is switched on and ready. Okay, well done, rest there. I'm gonna change the timer to 40 seconds on each exercise and grab your dumbbell. We're taking it into a standard bicep curl, one hand, one dumbbell from the side of your body, palm facing inwards, twist and turn it up to your shoulders and then back down. Get ready? In three, two, one. Off you go. We are into a bicep curl to begin with. Keep your elbow nice and tight to your body, nice and slow. This whole workout is really gonna be focusing on the time under tension, keeping the biceps and triceps under tension throughout the whole workout. So you don't need to get lots of reps, you just need to keep the tension. Come all the way up to the top, squeeze, contract, and fully extend at the bottom until your elbow is straight. Turn the palm to face up to the shoulders. Get ready to switch arm without any rest in two. One, and switch. Same thing, other arm, let's go. Same thing as the first arm, elbow nice and tight. Get that natural rotation from your palm facing in towards your body and then up to the shoulders. So the structure that we're gonna be facing, going through in this workout, because we are only using one arm at a time, we're not gonna take any rest. We're just gonna go from one arm to the other continuously in this workout to make this workout the most efficient use of time to get the most out of our workout. Get ready to switch arm, same thing, off you go. Same exercise, let's stay here for three sets. So I'm using eight kilograms. When you get a chance in the rest period or at the end, write down in the comments what weight you're using and whether you can progress over weeks and months of doing this workout. If you're finding it easy at the beginning, don't worry. There's lots of volume, lots of reps, lots of sets still to come. We will burn out and get a really good workout to build muscle and strength in our arms. Switch straight into the other arm for set two. Off you go. Make sure you're maintaining good posture, shoulders back, chest up. And even though we're loading one side, we don't want our body tilting to one side. Use your core and good posture to maintain upright whilst we're working our biceps. Keep it going. We're gonna to switch to the other arm, the first arm for the third set in three, two, one. Third and final set in this position, off you go. It's completely fine and normal 
If you realize that one arm feels more comfortable or stronger than the other, and doing exercises one arm at a time or one leg at a time is a great way to realize these weaknesses and help build them up so you're, you have more equal strength across your body. Don't rest too long at the bottom. As soon as you reach the bottom, straight back up for the next rep. Don't cheat yourself and keep pushing through. Switch arm in two, one, and switch. You should feel a nice warmth and muscle pump now in the biceps. Obviously, if you do have more than one dumbbell, then you could have better use of time. But this workout is great for if you just have one dumbbell of one particular weight, or you only have access to one dumbbell in this workout. 10 more seconds. We're gonna switch straight back to that first arm. And without any rest, we're going to a hammer bicep curl. Okay, switch arm. Now, straight in, no twist. Keep your palm facing inwards. We are in. So we're gonna do the same thing now with this hammer curl, elbow staying narrow again, chest open, shoulders back. Still working the biceps, but a slightly different angle is working different areas of the biceps as well as now more of your forearms. Same thing by squeezing at the top as high as you can go and fully extending the arm straight all the way to the bottom. Switch arm in two, one, and switch. Off you go, hammer curl in the other arm. Focus also on the eccentric portion, which is the lowering phase of this exercise. You don't just wanna fall down, you wanna control the weight down. We are also getting a lot of work and a lot of our strength benefits by controlling down. 10 seconds before we switch. Three, two, one. Back to the first arm, hammer curl, off you go. Set two out of three. Fifteen seconds, keep it going. You should now start to feel, depending on the weight that you're using, a real good challenge. We've gone through the warm up and now there should be a nice fatigue, which is what we want to build muscle. Switch arm for set two, off you go. Halfway, keep going, squeezing, all about that time under tension, no resting. Five seconds before we switch for the final set. Off you go, hammer curl in the first arm, third set. Another benefit to having one arm free, if the weight is too heavy, you can help. You can use the other hand to lift up if you have reached failure with a heavy weight. Of course, you can use momentum if you want and control it down, but having this free arm is like a spotter if you need it. 10 seconds. Get ready to switch. Two. One, off you go, hammer curl, final time in the second arm. Even with this light weight, this eight kilogram, I can feel a really nice muscle pump 
in this workout. Hopefully you can too. 10 seconds and then we're going to switch back to that first arm for a one set finisher in a pulse and then we'll move on to triceps. Two, one, back to the first arm, palm facing upwards, come to halfway 90 degrees, hold it here and then a few inches down, a few inches up. Final set, this is it, last bit of biceps and then biceps are done. Use this time, 22 seconds, to squeeze nothing left in the biceps. Just stay in this middle phase. Got it, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, switch. 40 seconds, other arm. Then we get to rest. Stay with it right to the end. Last bit of biceps. Just a few inches up and down. Mind to muscle connection right in these biceps. Halfway. Keep going. Six, five. And rest there. Oh yes, rest there. Biceps complete. Let's now do the same structure for the triceps. Rest for 30 seconds, have a drink if you need, and get ready for the tricep section. We're halfway. Okay, 15 seconds. We're taking it into a single arm tricep extension. Grab hold of your dumbbell goes above the head, you bend the elbow, drop it behind the head, and then push up to the top. Are you ready? Off you go. Bend behind the head, stretch, push up to the top. When you fully extend the arm, squeeze the triceps at the back of the arm. The bigger the stretch, the better, depending on what weight you have. You might not be able to go as low, but whatever feels right for you. Be mindful of your elbow not bending out here but try to keep it in about the same area as you drop the dumbbell behind the head the elbow stays there and you want to be comfortable without any elbow pain so find whatever position works well for you and switch straight into the other side so the structure that we just did in the biceps it's going to be the same thing with the triceps by just going from one arm to the next in two different exercises. Core strong, shoulders back, chest up, good posture. Keep going, five seconds before we switch to the first arm. Off you go, switch. Second set, first arm, off you go. I always find first couple of sets is like warming up the muscle and then you start to get into the groove and it feels a bit better. And then a couple more sets after that, the muscles are fatigued and it starts to get harder again. 15 seconds. Remember, no rush, take your time. The lowering phase is important too. Three, two, one, and switch. Second arm. Ten seconds to finish set two. Almost there. Switch arm in two. One, off you go. Third and final set of this exercise. 
Remember that good technique, slowly down. You might even find the dumbbell might touch your upper back or shoulders. That will show a good range, a good stretch. I do sometimes use the other arm for a bit of balance to make sure I'm maintaining that central posture. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Switch arm. Last time in the tricep extension. Let's go. Remember that option of the other hand being a spotter if you need it when you hit fatigue. Three, two, one. Back to the first arm for a kickback. New exercise, tilt forwards, elbow up, drive back, squeeze the triceps, let's go. To maintain good posture, no rounded back, lengthen in the spine. Push your bum backwards, elbow stays up, tight to the body. Think about pushing the dumbbell up to the ceiling and then try to hold it there as long as you can and that will really squeeze the triceps. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Same on the other side. So, new exercise. We have three sets non-stop, then the finisher, and then workout complete. Try to get that arm straight. Push that hand back and up, 10 seconds. Switch arm in two, one, off you go. Set two, first arm. Bend the knees, maintain square posture, shoulders, chest facing the floor. You can use the opposite hand on your thigh for a bit of support for the core and back. You got it. If you hit fatigue, you've always got the option of resting for two seconds and then back in. Get as many reps as you can in 40 seconds. Two, one, and switch. Think about the shoulder pulling backwards and up as well. Not just the elbow, but shoulder back. Your back is gonna be working here as well. Ten seconds, push it. Building that muscle in, triceps here. Two, one, switch for the third and final time. Off you go. Fifteen seconds. It's getting hard. We're right at the end. Stay with it. Almost there. Five. And switch. Final forty seconds before the finisher. Let's go. Twenty, halfway. Thirty. 
three, two, one. Into the finisher, switch arm, go back to exercise one. Now into a pulse, just like the biceps. Go halfway and pulse here. Don't reach the bottom, don't reach the top. One set, finisher, each arm to really say goodbye to our triceps. <laughs> Let's do it. This is the end in five, four, and switch. Same on the other side. This is the end, last 40 seconds. Pulse, halfway. Think about that elbow position a little bit as well. Good posture. And through the burn, last few reps to finish the arms off. Ten seconds. Assistance from the other arm if needed. Three, two, one. Yes. Arm killer. Complete. <laughs> well done. Stay with me just for a minute to lengthen off and stretch those sore muscles. Just like we did in the warm up. Let's also just do a mini cool down starting in a bicep stretch that we worked first of all. Like in the warm up, turn your fingers to face you. Push those elbows forwards and open up those biceps and forearms. Take nice deep breaths. Of course, our heart rate and breathing rate is gonna be elevated even though that's a strength training session. But because we took barely any rest, it means that of course, can have a bit of a cardiovascular effect as well. Let's take it into a tricep stretch. It might be difficult whilst they're pumped, but bring one arm behind your back, hold onto your elbow and reach the fingers back. You can do this kneeling or standing, completely up to you. So well done, don't click off yet. Make sure when you have a free arm, you give this video a like. You drop a comment underneath, let me know which weights you've been using and how this workout is going for you. Remember, you've got to be consistent. Switch arm, final 30 seconds. You've got to be consistent in doing workouts like this to build muscle. You've got to back it up with the right lifestyle, other training, other workouts, and enough protein and calories to build muscle. If you need any help with that, then make sure you, you join me in my app. You email me, ask me for some help and support and keep following my workouts and my videos. <sighs> okay, relax your arms, shake it off, workout, cool down, complete, do any more that you need. I do have lots of stretch videos and cool down videos if you need further. Anyway, I'm pumped, see you later, bye bye.